Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Skills to Scale. Listen Mahabharat in simple English by Shruti Bhushan. In the previous video, we have seen that Arjuna was blessed by Lord Shiva. We also know about the curse by Urvashi to Arjuna. If you haven't watched the previous video, please watch it. And also like, share and subscribe to Skills to Scale to get more videos. Today we will see what the Pandavas did in their year of disguise. So without any delay, let's start today's video. All the Pandavas decided to leave to the kingdom of Matsya ruled by a wise king Virata. They hide their weapons in a shami tree which they happened to see on the way to Matsya kingdom. The Pandavas reached Upaplavya, the city in Matsya. Yudhishthira joined the court of Virata as a gambler with the name Kanka. Bhima became a cook in the king's kitchen since he had a flair for cooking. He called himself Ballava and also assumed the role of wrestler. Arjuna, who had been cursed by Urvasi, disguised himself as a woman, called himself Brihanala. Since he had mastered the art of music and dance at Indralok, he became a tutor for the young ladies in the palace, teaching them various art forms, especially to the princess Uttara. Nakula became a groom at the royal stable in the name Grantika. Sahadeva, who was killed in taming cows, called himself Tantipala and worked as a cowherd looking after the cattle in the palace. As for Draupadi, she became a Sirendri. Sirendris were a class of virtuous women and served the queen, Sudishana, as a beautician. She named herself as Malini. Thus, they started spending their year of disguise. Duryodhana had spent sent spies everywhere to search for the Pandavas, reveal their identity and further extend their exile period. The spies did not succeed. One day, when Draupadi was going to the queen's chamber, Kichaka, the commander of the Matsya army and the brother of Sudeshana, happened to see her. He was smitten by Kamadeva as soon as he saw her. He immediately went to his sister and told her about his liking for Draupadi. Sudarshayana initially disapproved for this since she was her maid, but Kijaka somehow convinced her and got her to arrange a meeting with Draupadi. Kijaka waited for the meeting to happen. Later that day, the queen asked Draupadi to take some wine to Kijaka. Draupadi refused to do so, but later agreed with the assurance of the queen that she will ensure her safety. Now, how will the Pandavas help Draupadi? To know what they did, please watch my next video. If you like the story and felt it interesting, drop a like. Share with your friends and let them know about Mahabharat. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos.